Hey everyone, I'm Paul Parmelo. Welcome to my video. A lot of people wrote to me and asked me what I think about these LED headlights that come from overseas. Now I haven't actually tried any, but I've acquired some. So I've acquired the full LED headlight from overseas. I also got the LED inserts where you just pop out your H11 halogen bulb and put in the replacement LED. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the differences between all of these lights. I'm going to take these lights and I'm going to hook them up in my workshop. So let's get started. So these are the lights that I'm going to be demonstrating today. The first one is my stock OEM light fixture that came with my cross country tour. And it uses the halogen bulbs and you simply put them in, lock them down and plug them in. The next one is the Victory Beacon LED light in chrome. Aluminum backing, plugs are part of the housing in behind. This next one is the light I got from overseas. It is an LED with a black housing. It has pigtails on it, direct plug and play. And if you want to wire it up a different way, they come with little pigtails. Some people have said that these wires have been reversed but I didn't find that to be the case with me. I just plugged them in my bike and they worked right away. Another type of light I got from the same company overseas is the H11 LED model. These are a direct plug and play for the halogen bulbs. There is no fan on them. It is an aluminum heat sink on it and they're very nice. I like them. They just simply plug in the same way. However, I found they stick out too far at the back and when you try to install it into your bike it hits the wiring harness inside your fairing. Now you could take the fairing apart and relocate the wiring inside. Uh, it would work but um, I prefer not to go that far and I'll just use the ones in the housing. For these tests, I'm going to be using different pieces of equipment. This is a light meter. It's going to give me the intensity in foot candles. This is a color temperature meter. It will tell me the degrees Kelvin and uh, it can either be in the yellow, the white or the blue spectrum of light. And this is an infrared thermometer used to uh, monitor heat dissipation. I rigged up a crude workbench. I took my light fixture out of my motorcycle and attached it to a wooden stand. This way I can swap bulbs and everything remains the same. Five feet away from the light I placed a board. This is where I'm going to do my measurements and everything will be compared identically. The first light we're going to test is the quartz halogen OEM light that came with my bike. The next light we're going to try are the H11 LED replacement bulbs. This is the Victory Beacon LED headlamp. And finally we have the LED complete unit from overseas. Okay, I cleaned out my entire basement. I set up my green screen in behind. I'm going to use that as a wall to show you the beam patterns for each light. I'll show you the low and I'll show you the high. 25 feet in that direction is the headlights. So let's get started. This is the OEM halogen lights. Low beam and high beam. One of the neat things about the H11 LED lights is the LEDs are 180 degrees apart. So when you lock this into your housing it's only going to stay one way. But you can put an Allen key into a little pin in here and rotate it while keeping it locked in your housing thus changing the beam pattern. Let me show you how that's going to work. So this is the H11 LED bulbs. This is the low beam. I'm going to adjust it now. And this is the high beam, and I'm going to adjust it now. This is the Victory Beacon LED headlight. Low beam and high beam. 
And finally we have the Overseas LED Complete Unit. This is the low beam and this is the high beam. So now I've given you all the data that I could possibly give you on all these types of lights. You can use this data to decide on your own which one you want to use. Thank you very much for watching my video. Stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you next time.